Hello everyone, I'm Anita Wallace, I'm Chair of the Lymphedema Support Network and I'm delighted to introduce you to Professor Dominic Furness, a microsurgeon with a special interest in lymphedema. Um, yes, another question we're asked quite often um, is about liposuction for lymphedema and who is who's so suitable for that? Well, that's a really good question. Liposuction for lymphedema is a really effective treatment. It's a very, very good operation. But I would say straight away that, you know, as a, as a trained plastic surgeon, this is very different to cosmetic liposuction. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that your members and, uh, you know, anyone with, with lymphedema needs to really think about if they're thinking about liposuction for their lymphedema is they must go and see someone who has trained in specifically liposuction for lymphedema, not just cosmetic liposuction. It's completely different. And one of, one of the main things actually that is completely different is the aftercare. And having on board an experienced lymphedema practitioner who, again, has specifically trained in caring for lymphedema patients after liposuction is vitally important, probably even more important than the surgeon, um, to be honest. Um, if you go to someone who just does cosmetic liposuction, they do their normal procedure on you, you will, and there's no real aftercare, you don't get the right compression garments, you know, you're not, you're not having, having that side of things properly looked after. What will happen is the fluid will reaccumulate that will cause the fat to reaccumulate. And within a year or so, you'll be back to exactly where you were before, but having gone through the risks of having an operation. So to my mind, that makes no sense whatsoever. Um, so now we've got that one out of the way. Shall we talk a little bit about yeah. liposuction yeah, itself? No, thank you for emphasizing that point. I think it's really important. Um, so yeah. yeah, tell us a bit more about it. So liposuction for lymphedema is sort of industrial scale liposuction, really. Um, it's quite a big operation. It requires a team that knows what they're doing with the right equipment that's dedicated really to the, the care of lymphedema patients um, for this operation. And that team approach goes from anaesthetist, scrub staff in theatre, um, surgeons, right through to uh, post-operative care with, with a, a good lymphedema therapist. What do we actually do? So under general anaesthetic, what we do is we, uh, first of all, we've measured, let's, let's take the example of uh, two arms. So you have a, a normal arm and then a, an arm with lymphedema. First of all, in the workup, we determine how much of that lymphedema is fluid and how much is fat. So we do that on clinical examination, but we also do a quantitative MRI scan to, to determine how much fat is there to make sure that we're not missing someone who's, who's actually got a lot of fluid because this is really for non-pitting edema and for the fatty changes that come as a late consequence of lymphedema. So we then have two sets of measurements. So we have the normal arm measured at various points, like being measured for a compression garment. And then we have the abnormal arm. And we will take away enough fat and we'll be measuring this during the operation, continuous, well, not continuously, continually measuring this during the operation in order to determine when we've taken away the correct amount of fat to give an arm that is as close as we can possibly get to the same size as the normal arm. Then during the operation still, we will put on compression garments that have been measured to the size of the, the normal arm. So immediately after the operation, as you come around, you'd have the compression garments on already and you'd have an arm that is pretty close to the, the size of, of the normal arm. Now, over the coming weeks, that arm swells because it's just had an operation and you get swelling after any operation. And the lymphedema practitioner is then in very close contact with the patient 
adjusting garments, um, getting the compression just right in order to control that swelling and over the course of a few months, bring the swelling down. And what we normally see is by the time we get out to a year post-op, the limb is of a very similar size to the other side. Um, sometimes it's a little bit smaller actually as well. And uh, we find over time, as generally speaking, we all tend to put a little bit of weight on. <laughs> the normal side will put a little bit of weight on, but the operated side tends not to put any weight on. So if anything, uh, over, over the course of several years or decades, that side seems to get smaller. Although in actual fact, it's the other side just getting a little bit bigger as we all tend to. Yeah. The, the other thing to emphasize is the use of compression after this operation. So because we're not doing anything to reconstruct the lymphatics, the problem still remains that the lymphatic drainage is not adequate. And so in order to control the amount of fluid that is produced in the arm or in the leg, the patient has to wear pretty strong compression. So usually class three compression or above. Um, and that compression has to be worn day and night. Um, so usually they're allowed to take it off for about an hour in the morning to have a shower and do skincare and that kind of thing. And then a, a, a new garment comes on. So it's sort of wear one, wash one. And we say to our patients, you should expect to do that for the rest of your life. Now, of course, let's say you're going to a wedding and you just want to wear a summer skirt and not be wearing your compression underneath for a few hours, six hours in the day, say, that would be absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's not going to completely lose everything that we've achieved with a lot of hard work over a year or 18 months or, or however long it's been. So things like that, or going to the beach for a day when you're on holiday and you just don't want to wear your compression on the beach, that's okay. Wear it when, when you get back to your apartment or, or whatever. So it's not quite 100% strict, but overall, the, the sort of mentality needs to be, I'm going to be wearing my compression 24 hours a day for the rest of my life. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.